This is another illustration for analysis of a wedge pulley system. We are given that all the surfaces shown in figure are smooth, and we are going to find acceleration of block B when it is released. We are also given that the mass of block A is m and that of B is 3 m. Here, to start the analysis, first we distribute all forces as tension and normal reactions in the system. Here you can see. In this figure, we can draw the tension in the strings. As there is only one string, so tension everywhere can be taken as T if we consider it to be ideal. And if there exists a normal reaction N1 between the block B and ground, and N2 is the normal reaction between block A and ground. Then in this situation here, we can draw the free body diagrams of A and B, and we can analyze the situation. Let us first draw the free body diagram of block B. Here we can see B will experience its weight 3 mg in downward direction. A normal reaction by ground on it is N1 in upward direction. And the left side it is experiencing two tensions. And one normal reaction N2 is acting on it due to the block A, which is at an angle theta with the vertical. And with the horizontal, one tension is acting over here due to this pulley, which is attached to block B. This angle is also theta. And let us assume block B is going toward left with an acceleration A. Here by observation we can say if block B is moving toward left with acceleration A, here a string length will reduce by double the length. So block A will move relative to block B with an acceleration 2A. So now we can also draw the free body diagram of body A. Here we draw it relative to body B. So as B is a non inertial reference frame as it is accelerating with respect to body B, A will experience a pseudo force. So, here in free body diagram, weight of body A is acting in downward direction. And here we can draw the reference lines along and perpendicular to its motion with respect to block B. So, if this angle is theta, in this direction it will experience a tension. The normal reaction N2 would be acting over here, and uh, toward right it will experience a pseudo force MA at an angle theta because B is moving toward left with acceleration A. So A will experience a pseudo force toward right, and with respect to body B, the block A is uh, sliding on its inclined surface with an acceleration 2A. Now we can write these uh, equations of motion for uh, the blocks. So, for block B, we can write toward left the forces are 2t plus n2 sin theta minus t cos theta is equals to 3ma, that is their equation 1. And for block A here, we can write along the line of motion, we can write mg sin theta plus m a cos theta minus t is equals to m multiplied by 2 a. This here equation 2 and in the direction normal to the inclined surface as block a is not moving with respect to b. So, we can balance the forces. So, here the value of n 2 plus m a sin theta can be written as m g cos theta. So, a value of n 2 will be m g cos theta minus M A sin theta that is their equation 3. Now, directly in equation 1, we can substitute the values of N2 and T from equation 2 and 3. So, here we can directly write from equation 1. Here we can substitute the value of tension as 2 multiplied by tension can be substituted as mg sin theta plus M A cos theta minus 2 M A plus N2 is already given to us, we multiply it with sin theta. So, this will be mg sin theta cos theta minus m a sin square theta and minus t cos theta. So, minus we can substitute the value of t cos theta directly from here and this will be 
माइनस एम जी साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा माइनस एम ए कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस टू एम ए कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री एम ए दिस आर इक्वेशन वन वी हैव सब्सिट्यूटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ टी एन एंड टू फ्रॉम इक्वेशन टू एंड थ्री Here, if we just have a look, this plus and minus m g sine theta cos theta will get cancelled out, and here this m a sine square theta m a cos square theta can be taken as minus m a. So if it will go on the other side, it will become three m a, and the remaining terms can also be taken on the right hand side. So here you can see the result. What will be getting is. I just leave it for you to simplify and get the value of acceleration. And here, the value of acceleration finally we are getting is, and all masses we can cancel here. So the value of acceleration here we can see we are getting is g sine theta divided by Four minus two cos theta. This is the final result we'll get for acceleration. You can simplify this term and get this result.